So anyone who hasn't got out to see the golf course yet and um, the new developments, I wanted to talk them through with you. So here we are looking at hole number 14. Now, as you know, this is a wild factor hole from the upper tee box. Um, here we are down in the playing area. And what we've done is we've made this hole a par four. We've brought the green forward and we've introduced a new lake to the right hand side of the green. This will be a double wild factor hole. It's an impressive shot down uh, from the landing zone and you've got the views of Loch Ree in the left hand side. We've also cleaned out the lakes on the left hand side and this will add to the beauty of this hole. So here we are looking at the new 15th hole. Now you have to use your imagination here as there's going to be trees planted on the left hand side, trees planted on the right hand side. It'll be a slight dog leg up to the left hand side. In the light coloured sand area there you can see the green and uh, this is where the old 16th green was and this will be a beautiful par four. Just a reminder to use your imagination as there's a lot of planting that has to be done yet. We will also be introducing some cart paths from the greens to the tea area, which will really polish off uh, each of the holes. And here we are now looking down on the new 16th hole. The tea boxes are there at the start. Um, they've all grown in now, more or less, um, but use your imagination here now. The left hand side and the right hand side will have some trees planted. Beautiful view off this tee box. You'll be heading down to the landing zone here and then this will be your approach shot uh, into the, the green. Now there's a bunker there on the right hand side. And once again, a stunning par four, bringing in the lakes. Uh, the woodlands uh, together. So as we move across we're going to the 18th. I'm showing you some works here where the guys are busy building the, the new tea boxes and um, we're going to show you a video here twice um, because you can see what work has been completed so far. But let's have a, work, uh, a look at the guys here working away. Um, this is Golfling Evolve, a fantastic company just finished Loch Lomond, now here in Glasson. We've got four new tea boxes. We've raised them up and we've also introduced a new cart path. So big dramatic change here to the 18th. Um, power four once again but you'll hit up into a landing zone but we've lowered down the green it'll be a slight dog leg to the left tremendous work going on in this area it was a very rocky area a very hard area to work with but the guys did an excellent job we've also improved the drainage a lot down in the lower six holes which will be good for play all year round here we are now coming into the green and um, use your imagination here once again. There's going to be a lot of plantation around um, the areas here surrounding the green. It's almost like an amphitheater. Then we'll have a lovely walkway off the green right up to when the new clubhouse is put in position up by the first tee. So we're going to take you back uh, to the 18th and um, you'll also have seen that we have uh, done some work on the old 15th green which is now the 17th but here we are back on the 18th and here is the old wetland area we've introduced a new lake take you back now all the way to the four tee boxes stunning view of this uh, 18th Tea, and this will make a tremendous difference uh, to this area which was predominantly quite wet um, and you can see there's a new cart path to the left hand side raised up that you'll be able to drive around and a nice walkway off the 18th.
Now the machines have all gone, uh, the seating has taken place. More rocks are going to go in there and the lake. That has to be completed yet. And we come up here into the landing zone and you'll see as we turn the corner. We're coming into this green. And as I say, use your imagination here now because we're going to have lots of plantation um, up around the mounds here surrounding the green. Beautiful amphitheatre, uh, lovely finish uh, to our golf course here at Glasson. Over the next week, we'll do more drone footage as a lot of the surfaces now are coming into colour. And we'll be able to show you um, what the finished product will be like, except for the plantation. Um, but it's really coming into play. There's the old house sitting up above the 18th green. Now here's the driving range. We will start works on that in early March and uh, it'll be completed with four new artificial greens going in to the driving range. <laughs>